um, we're gonna I'm we're gonna make something to do with mini beasts today. Um, I found we need to find an old sock. This one's not an old sock. I'm gonna have to undo my sock afterwards. This one's a beautiful sock, and it reminds me of a caterpillar. So I'm going to do a caterpillar. So for your thing today, you need an old sock. Doesn't matter what colour it is or how how big it is. Some um, rubber bands and um, if you've got a pipe cleaner that would be useful. My pipe cleaner isn't quite long enough so I've got two. Now I'm going to make them longer by twiddling them together because they've got wire inside so that they, they'll they stay. So that's a little twiddle. Watch the ends because they can be a bit spiky. Long, whatever that's called. And some boogly eyes. I'm going to choose two. They don't even match. Maybe I choose two that match a bit. There. Boogly eyes. And if you haven't got boogly eyes, just make them out of bits of paper and then cut them out. And a bit of glue. I think that's all I've got. I've got some decorations as well, which are those um, gems that you could use pom-poms or um, anything that you fancy to decorate your sock caterpillar could be look at some bugs as well we, it's very difficult to find bugs at this time of year in January so you can look them up on the internet it might be a ladybird or it might be um, a millipede or it could be ooh, what other little bugs can you find a beetle Something that's got little legs, something that's tiny that you can find in the garden. So, oh, and stuffing. Now, I have got stuffing, but if you don't have stuffing, you can use another old sock or some old fabric. Anything, really. So, first of all, I'm going to stuff my sock in bits. I'm going to stuff that end for the head. And then I'm going to put a... Um, Elastic band around, twiddle it round, ask if for help if you need it. What I'm doing is I'm, I've got it, I twist it and then I go over again. And then we're going to put another bit in, another bit of stuffing, because my caterpillar is going to be long and bumpy. Caterpillar, another elastic band. Might get tricky to get them around, mightn't it, if it gets really long. So there you go. So I'll twist and then go back over and it should stay. And then another bit of stuffing. There we go. All the way along. Oh, this is a long sock. I might have a tail. Well, if I was going to get rid of this sock, I could chop it off, couldn't I, if I got bored of making it. And I think this time I'm going to do it through this way so it might be easier. So you get your elastic band round, twist it and then get it back round over the fabric and then again twist it back round. I think I'll twist it again otherwise ugh. I would twist it again but I want to undo it again. So. Thing. We'll just do one more for this caterpillar today. Oh, I have got another one. How lucky. So, just sting your elastic band round. If you don't have elastic bands or you want to use string, that would be good. Because the elastic bands would deteriorate over time, so they would <coughs> get a bit, they would break. If you had a piece of string, you could tie it really, really tight, couldn't you? There, there's my caterpillar. But needs some um, dealy boppers. So I'm going to go on that, where it's halfway, measure it halfway. I'm going to wrap it round, give it a little twiddle, and then make them into dealy boppers. Like a proper caterpillar. And then... My caterpillar needs some eyes. So I'm going to stick them on. If you have a glue gun, cool milk glue gun, you can ask for an adult for help. And the glue gun would stick them on better. But 
this will do for now. Bit of print stick. PVA glue would stick it too. There. Can you see the caterpillars? Face. Squeeze. There. You could put on a mouth. You could put on some beautiful jewels. Crust it with lovely, lovely, lovely decorations. You could decorate it any way you want. Maybe you could get some more of these. Um, pipe cleaners and make little legs coming out the side. Oh, hello.